All right, guys, welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. Clearly, Meadow's excited to get started on today's video, so let's get right into it. We've got some overgrowth on this claw. We've got a little bit of rotation on this claw. We've got some separation near the heel bulb on this claw. And by now, you probably are able to diagnose what we've got going on here. You're going to want to stick around, because if you like extensive trims, this is just that. Now in the intro of this video, I described three different things that are gonna point me to a diagnosis for this particular claw. Number one was the overgrowth. Number two was the slight rotation in that claw. And number three was that separation up above. Those first two, those are likely gonna cause this particular problem that's starting to show up right now in the white line. That little bit of a crack, those are due to excess pressures being applied to specific portions of that claw. Oftentimes that can be due to that overgrowth and that rotation. That separation up above, that is a symptom of the problem which we are about to uncover right now. Now you'll notice with my knife work that I work in a circular fashion as I'm starting to uncover these. Why do I do that? Is there a reason for that? And there is. Most of these problems that you're going to uncover are going to be, are going to have a circular type shape. They're going to radiate out from that initial uh, spot that we started with on the sole of that foot. So as I'm looking for the edge of that separation or I'm looking for the edge of that disrupted corium, I'm working, likely it's going to be in a circular fashion, so I'm gonna work in a circular fashion looking for that. It's just common sense. If I were to work straight down, you're not necessarily gonna find the edges. And this way, when I'm, I'm able to lift and pull away as I work, and that keeps uh, any mistakes from happening or lessens the likelihood of those mistakes from happening when I work this particular way. Now, one of the questions I get a lot is, are there seasonalities to these different types of problems that you see when you're working on cows? And there is. Now, this particular problem you see here, you tend to see a lot more of in the hot summer months where cows are spending more time on their feet. It makes sense when you have an imbalanced claw or an overgrown claw and that cow is spending more time on that. That's increased amount of pressure on those areas. The likelihood of this happening is much higher. Now you might be thinking to yourself, this isn't really a hot time of year here, so why are you starting to see these problems? This couple, we've seen a couple of these now in the last couple weeks, and that's because what I think happened is we had a hot stretch about a month ago. It was 90 degrees. These cows still had their winter coats at that time, and I think they spent, they got a little bit stressed out with that, and they spent a lot of time on their feet, and that's why we're seeing an uptick in these particular lesions all of a sudden in a time of year where we typically won't see that. So what are some of the things that farmers can do to help reduce the risk of these things from happening? Number one, keep cows trimmed to keep their feet as balanced as possible because when they're on concrete, any imp imperfection or imbalance in that claw is gonna be transmitted to that foot. On soft ground, some of the, gr the ground is gonna take up some of that force. But with concrete, there is no give there, so it ends up going right into the hoof itself. Now, another thing we can do is keep these barns as cool as possible and comfortable as possible for the cows. Cows begin to heat stress with temperatures as low as 65 degrees. So think about that. Any temperatures above that, that cow is gonna to begin to heat stress. And what does she do when that happens? She stands on her feet to help get rid of that body heat. And it's that standing, it's that walking around on an imbalanced claw that can increase the odds of these problems from happening. So nice comfortable beds, nice cool conditions. And then in areas where cows spend a lot of time standing, a rubber flooring applied. 
This can be just a thin layer of rubber that takes up some of that shock for when cows are standing in particular spots around waters or at the feed lane or waiting in the, hold, uh, in the holding area for the parlor to get milked. Areas like that, when they're standing, if they can be on soft on a soft substrate like that, soft ground, that's gonna take the stress or the, those pressures, limit those pressures to those specific spots. Ooh, you see that? That's my new glue gun. Brad from Vet Tech sent me that. He must have noticed mine was in rough shape and I needed an improvement. And guess what? This thing is slick. So we're gonna get this block on this other claw. We're gonna finish touching up these edges. You can see here, I'm just trying to easily, safely tease away that horn from around that. You gotta be careful here because we're working really tight to the problem. Now we'll get this foot wrapped up with a little bit of salicylic acid to help take care of this. And in a couple weeks, we'll come back and we'll check to see how this cow's doing. Now, if you haven't done it yet, hit that subscribe button. We're getting close to 700,000 followers, subscribers. That'd be awesome to hit that, guys. Help me do it. We're going to let this girl go. Until next time, guys, as always, thanks for watching. And we will see you all on the next one.